Where does one begin? Hmm. The first sip of the first cup over a stressful week. Oh my god. Just, 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 oh my god. Anyway. Hello, you corny fuckers. How you doing? <laughs> well, there goes monetization. He said the F word. I don't care about monetization. I don't care about any of that crap. I care about you. I care about me. And I care about our mental health. So, first things first. Let us crack open a very warranted digestive biscuit. Because, boy, man, man, have I got some shit. Yet to tell you where does one begin? You started to stop, Captain Dickhead. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Let's just say my weekend has been shit, and today is Valentine's Day. You can tell in my face how happy I'm about that shit. Mm. What? Long story short, or short story long, my younger brother went in for surgery on um, Tuesday, so 12th, and I have yet to hear back from any one of my family members, you, and because I've been stressed about that, I have yet to get over my IBS now. You know what that is? It's IBS is irritable bowel syndrome. When certain people are stressed, their body goes through certain changes. Mine just happens to go for the first day, constipation. For the second day, let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. I have changed diets, I have changed my milk, I've changed everything you could ever possibly imagine. I've taken every, every you know, voodoo way of dealing with it, um, you, you, you name it, that's my phone orgasming at me, you name it, I have tried it, does not work. I've been that stressed about my baby brother. It just doesn't work. I've also been busy with work. And I picked up a few um, after. Well, I picked up some from home uh, a lot of training. Some of you may or may not know. I do my training with Allison.com. not sponsored not sponsored they are a free train online training and resource website where you can learn any skill you want up to a certain level that you want and they are associated with the university of phoenix they are associated with debray they are associated with the university of there's one uni there's two universities here in the UK, I just can't think of them at the top of my head, and there's one university in Europe that they are associated with. So if you're in Europe and you go to Allison and you learn, you can get the you can get the diploma from that university. It is a recognized university course. Every cybersecurity skill I've learned, I have learned from Allison. Um, course, some of the coursework you will have to go buy. That's what a bookstore's for. That's what Amazon's for. Buy the, buy the course workbooks, do the courses, use the books, get your resource, and then you're good. Now, I know some people will then refund the book back to get their money back, some of their money back. No, keep the book. The reason why is because you're always going to want to go back to your fundamentals. Okay? You're always going to go back to your fundamental courses. 
Just trust me on this. You will. Sorry about my phone orgasming at me. You see, what's going on? And so, yeah, I just, I've been busy with that, a whole bunch of other stuff, my health, uh, going to the gym. Don't you fucking do it. Don't you fucking do it. You know, I'm on airplane. Mode. Yeah. How are you messaging me on airplane? Mode? Never mind. Anyway, point is, I have been extremely stressed and busy with that. Uh, <laughs> I've been contacted by some old friends from my past. Um, and not too sure. Um, and I don't mean my past is in my past in the States. I mean, my past is in my past here in the UK. Um, I guess they, Heard through the grapevine how well I'm doing, and either A, want to get on the bandwagon, or B, want to wish me well. I don't know. I don't know what their agendas are. But when you are in your own world, and you will do this, when you are in your own world, doing your own thing, learning your own thing, okay, do not let outside influences take you off course. Stay the course. Stay on course, stay on target, just like Luke, just like the Death Star. Stay on target. Do you understand? You get the most flack from everyone and everyone that you know when your plane is over the target. So remember that, people. All right? When life is throwing you haymakers left, right, fucking, you, you name it, okay? Just keep moving forward. Just like Rocky says, but you've got to be willing to take the hits and keep moving forward. All right. Sadly, we lost Carl Weathers. Really good man. Um, I only met him the once in Salt Lake City uh, when I was working security at Salt Lake City Comic Con. And uh, the guy was hilarious. Um, very. Oh my God. The man was vastly intelligent. The man. You shocked me. We were talking about Poe, Shakespeare, Ginsburg. We were talking about so many wonderful writers and poets. And, and I was like, this is the man who beat the snot out of Sylvester Stallone, chased the predator through a jungle and all these other things. And yet he's this fucking intelligent. Why was he never given an, a, a role where he could show his intelligence? You know? And we'll miss him. I know the Mandalorian universe will miss him. I know the Star Wars universe will miss him. There is already tributes to him and his family in several STL rendering websites I go to. You can download his face and put it on, you know, Space Marines and Christ knows what else. And I will be doing that. I will be 3D printing a couple of Carl Weathers' heads and putting them on some Space Marines. You know? And um, my way of honoring him. And... Um, it just sucks. You know? The world just seems like a more and more darker place each and every time. So, that said... If your heroes are still alive, if your hero is even a family member, let them. Say to them, nan, mum, dad, brother, sister, whatever. Say to them, I want you to know, I lead my life by the examples you've set. I listen to the stories that are not told, as well as the stories that are told. I think you're amazing. I think your story should be told sit down and listen to them and I mean it when they start talking 
Shut up. Listen. Soak that shit in like a sponge. You understand? Because they ain't going to be here forever. I lost my grandmother. Now almost two years ago. November will be two years. I lost her. Biggest gut punch I've ever had next to losing my son. And it hurt. You know, it fucking hurt. It still hurts. I'm still angry. I'm at the anger stage. And I don't think I can ever let it go. Losing her. All my life, I've known nothing but loss. Everyone keeps saying, oh, you're white, you're privileged. Privileged for what? What am I privileged for? What, where's my privilege? Point it out to me where I can say, yeah, that's a privilege. Losing my father at 10. My cousin at 11. Uncles and aunts, literally a year down there, right next to each other. Pop, pop, pop. All the way up to two, all the way up to 1997, no, 1998. Then signing up for the British Army because I just didn't want to be in, in my country anymore because it just reminds me of nothing but fucking death and loss. That's a privilege. Yeah, thanks. Getting shot at by child soldiers and I can't shoot back because it's against our rules of engagement. Thanks, privilege. What else? Losing my son at 18 to infant cot death. That's a privilege. Yeah? That's a privilege. That's a fucking privilege. You're talking out your asses. Anyone who bitches about a privilege of some other race or religion, look where they are to do so. England, the United States, France. Oh, these are what's known as modern world countries or first world countries. You are bitching about the past. You are bitching about something that now that does not fucking exist. It only exists in your imagination because that's exactly where the fuck it belongs. I have served with black people, I have served with white people, I have served with Asian people, I have served with Pakistani Hindu Hindu people, Sikhs, I have served with so many different skin tones, sleeping under the same roof, following the same rules, wearing the same uniform, eating the same food, following the same stupid orders. And I would die for them in a heartbeat. I would bleed for them in a heartbeat. Because they would do the same for me. And it has fuck all to do with the colour of my skin. Or the privilege that you seem to fucking think I've ever had. Now I've got that off my chest. I hope your day. It's going to be as bright as the sun, as beautiful as flowers blooming, as charming as you meet when you meet your partner for the first time. As emotional as when you watch your child being brought into. I will be alone Valentine's Day. In fact, I'm working. Valentine's Day. I shall be working. I will be working 7 till 7, which means 7 o'clock at night till 7 o'clock in the morning. I will be working. Now, is that a privilege? How so when straight white men, or even bisexual white men like myself, are being denied jobs simply because of the colour of our skin? Isn't that racist? So, take white, replace it with any other colour, it's racism, but yet, it's not when it's white people. D 
Do you understand the definition of hypocrite? And do you understand the definition of racist? Because you're being both. I don't hate anyone because of their skin colour. I can hate you because of the content of your character. But not because of the colour of your skin. Not because of what fluffy cloud you believe in. There are some people on this planet who I have loathed their existence. And they range from so many different skin colours. White, black, Asian, you name it. I have never hated anyone because of their skin colour. I have even dated outside of my skin colour. My daughter, my lovely daughter, is considered mixed race. My child is considered mixed race. Some of my kink play partners are considered not white. So does that make me what? What does that make me? What does that make me? Apart from a human being who just loves. And just loves to love. To be loved. Because that's what we are. We're not meant to hate. We have the, the, the energy that we have for hate is love turned in on itself. Do you understand that? If you take that hateful energy and then turn it around and project it at someone in a form of love, your life will be so much more happier. It just will. But some of you are just too fucking ignorant and too fucking stubborn and too fucking stupid to realize it. If you're black, listen to your leaders like Malcolm X, like um, Thomas Sowell. I love that man, please. Thomas Sowell. Dude is amazing. Incredibly, vastly intelligent. Thomas Sowell, uh, Malcolm X, uh, Martin Luther King. I have a dream. Listen to that. Listen to that in its entirety. I have a dream. That one day my children will not be not be classified by the color of the skin, but the content of their character. If I'm a white, ignorant person who can get that message, why the fuck can't you? Exactly. Listen to leaders of the past who went through the actual fucking shit. Not Malcolm Kibi X, blah, 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 whatever the fuck his name is, who wants segregation of everything. I want churches segregated, toilets segregated, da 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 segregated, da 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 segregated. If that came from a white man, you would literally demand that we lynch him from a fucking tree. But because it's a black man saying it, all of a sudden, oh my God, he's making sense. So you want to go back to the racist America and just the racist world in general where black people weren't allowed to use the same toilets, washed at the same, wash this, they had the same sink, drink from the same faucets, etc., 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 etc. You want to go backwards. Is that what you're trying to fucking say? Because it, it boggles my fucking mind. What's next? You, 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 want, you want free airfare in the form of chains in the holding cell of a ship? And the Dutch East India Trading Company, you want that back? Do you? Because guess what? Slavery's rampant across, across the Africa's right to this very day it is more so than when it was before why because you fucking backwards thinking redneck hillbilly fucking black people and notice i have not used the n-word once because i don't think that word should exist in this day and age 
it is a word of ignorance. And every time I hear a black person use it, I don't care if they're using it in 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 in, in a light-hearted tone, a dark-hearted tone as an insult in a rap video or anything. The word should just not fucking exist. It only still exists because you people will not fucking let it die. You don't see white people using slur words like I'm, I'm not, um, um, porch baboon because I can't say the N-word. You don't hear us calling you that anymore, do you? No. Why? Because we grew out of our ignorance. Yet you seem to have dev devolved back down to the level of ignorance. Educate yourselves. Get out of the ghettos. Get out of the hoods. Get out of your gangs. And literally go to a library. Go to that big horrible place that has all those scary books with all those big words and no pictures. Okay? And fucking educate yourself. If Cat Williams can do it. Love you, Cat. Cat is fucking hilarious. If Dave Chappelle can literally say to, 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 to people, fuck you, I don't want 50-something million, I'm going to South Africa for a while. And get back into his touch and his roots and come back and be even more fucking funny. Those are the heroes you should idolize. Not Puffy, Jay-Z, and fucking Christ knows who else. Educate yourselves, people. Fuck's sake. And to all you twats out there that keep saying, Oh, his family probably owns slaves. No, my family never owned slaves. In fact, my family, some parts of my family, became slaves thanks to the Egyptians. The first documented slave isn't black, it's white, and it's a white Irish person. Also, most importantly, fun little fact for you. My family also tried, literally, fought off the Nazis, not once, but twice. And, oh, here's another little kicker for you. They also sailed the British seas, freeing captive slaves on slave ships. So my family's done more, technically, for your race than you've done in your entire fucking existence. You're welcome, you ignorant fucks. This is the problem with you idiots. All you want is simple 30 second microburst learning from TikTok. TikTok is a fucking algorithmic drawn thing to dumb down your education. It is a proven fact. Okay? It is a fact. Get off TikTok. Stay away from TikTok. Go to a library. Pick up a book. And use the old Mark 1 papers, yeah? Use the old Mark 1 papers. See these little jumbled letters that form, letters, form words and sentences and, 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 and whatnot? And, and, and yeah, yeah. Learn that way. And if you're too ignorant or too stubborn or too redneck or you just can't fucking read because you're that fucking backwards and you never stayed in school, you can get things known as da -da -da -da, audiobooks. Where someone like me, with a very sophisticated voice, has read the fucking thing out loud so that you can use the Mark 1 earballs to listen and learn. So you've lost all valid reasons to be an ignorant fuck, haven't you? Go educate yourselves. And it Talk about education. Bit, bit, bit of a side tangent here. Talk about education. If you think I'm a right-leaning person or a left-leaning person, you're a moron. If you only get your source from one place, you're a moron. If you only get anything and get angry when someone challenges your purview, you're a moron. Listen to the voices that question you. Okay, listen to them. If someone says, oh, communism's not bad, point out the fact that communism has failed in every single fucking country that has adopted communism. 
including Russia. Russia is not considered a communist state anymore. It collapsed. It went tits up, bum in the air, face down, gaping hole, come at me, capitalism. It died. Communism does not work. And any moron, especially Hassan Piker, seems to think that it does. Listen, you trust fund little fuck. Okay, do yourself a favor. Go to Russia. And I'm not talking about glorified fucking, you know, fucking St. Petersburg and whatnot. No, 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 no. Go out into the middle of bumblefuck nowhere, Russia. Go to Tarkov, Russia. Yeah, go out there, go to Siberia, go out into the fucking boonies, where your chances of having indoor plumbing dramatically drop the further out you go from a capital city, and go live there for a year, no cameras, no twitch, no nothing, you've got the money, and live life like a true communist, duh, and you will see how fast you shit the bed, get on a plane, run home to your four million dollar flat, you fucking twat. Who the fuck pays four million for a flat? Oh, that's right. <laughs> that fucking moron. I would have taken that money and I would have bought a fucking bit of land and built my own house. And homesteaded. You know what that means? That means grow your own food. Have your own livestock. Raise them. Eat them. Sell them. Make money. Do you understand? It's called, that's, that's, that's what the settlers did. That's what Thanksgiving is all about. When the settlers, who didn't understand the harsh terrain, because no one had tilled it or, 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 or set it up like your forefathers have, okay? They didn't have the option of, of, of people coming before them to get the land ready for, for growing seeds and crops and, and, and whatnot. Now we do. Thank you. Ask a farmer, for fuck's sake, they'll tell you. And so they went to the Native Americans and said, you have some excess fruits, nuts and berries, would you please, ex would you like to exchange them with us? They said, sure, we can all get together and have a, a, a fantastic meal. That's what Thanksgiving's about. Oh, but you don't know that, you don't learn that, you don't remember that, do you? Because all you're told is Thanksgiving is about spend, 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 and you can thank corporate America for that. The true meaning of, of Christmas isn't to spend presents on people. It's not about Santa Claus. It's not about horrible Disney movies. It's not about fucking you know. Christmas is about family getting together for the winter solstice. I.e. you'd group together and then you would migrate south. <laughs> like animals do. Why do you think ducks fly? Goose fly? From one country to another. Without a passport I might add. They fly. When the weather gets cold, they go, fuck this shit, I'm out, and they fly. That's what we're supposed to do as a species. This is why, whenever you look across the actual planetary surface of, of, of Earth, you can see where the peaks are hotter, therefore the people in that region have more darker melanin in their skin, as where the areas that get less have lighter melanin in their skin. We're still the same fucking people, we're still the human race, you dumb asses, you ignorant fucks. Okay, we're all the same people. It's just, I mean, fucking Bill Nye, the science guy, explained this shit in the fucking seven in the, in the fucking nineties. All right, not seven. It's the nineties. Okay, I'm thinking of Thomas Sowell again. Point is, it, the information's out there, you morons. It's even on a YouTube video. What's your fucking excuse, you ignorant fucks? You don't have any, do you? Exactly. This coffee's almost done. In fact, it is. So, video's done. Sorry about the rants. I just really needed to get that shit off my chest because I'm sick and tired of people stopping me in the street, especially that fucking Just Stop Oil twats saying, Oh, you're privileged. Yeah.